The greatest impact of the movement is that it helped to pave the way for Caribbean independence. This is UCLA Newsweek. In this edition, the Marcus Garvey Archives and new treatment for gut infections. Historian Robert Hill has spent 30 years archiving documents that tell the story of prominent activist Marcus Garvey. In this interview, Hill discusses the significance of the latest edited volume of the Garvey Papers and the importance of the role played by Caribbean members of Garvey's Universal Negro Improvement Association. Marcus Garvey was the most watched, the most tracked black leader of his time. There was no one whom the governments of the United States, Canada, and Europe felt more concerned about. He was viewed as the most threatening black leader of his time. From the governor of the Panama Canal, in reference to Marcus Garvey, comma, Negro agitator, comma. The archive started because I was trying to write a biography of Garvey, but there was so little documentary information that I felt I had to go searching for it. It's keeping track of a ton of stuff. It's 11 volumes now of the edited papers and a 12th volume celebrating the centenary of his birth. A total of 15 volumes for the edition when it is complete. See, as I'm looking through this, I'm going Bahamas, British Honduras, Grenada in the Windward Islands, St. Lucia. All of these are reports reflecting very distinctive local divisions of the UNIA. The UNIA stands for Universal Negro Improvement Association. This volume brings now and puts on the table the question of ethnicity. In America, race trumps everything. What's more important is whether you're a Jamaican, Grenadian, Trinidadian, Barbadian, Guyanese, not simply whether you're black. When African Americans began to become active in the Garvey movement in larger and larger numbers, West Indians began to recede. This dialectical changeover is one of the most interesting aspects to try to study. But you will never understand it if you start out by just saying this is an all-black movement. The greatest impact of the movement is that it helped to pave the way for Caribbean independence. So here is a movement antedating the, civil, the modern civil rights movement going back to the 1920s, and yet it is the, the driving force behind the recuperation um, and the slogans, black power and black is beautiful. I'm trying to return us to an appreciation of this comparative aspect of Garveyism and see it not just in terms of race, but in terms of its global meaning, its global dynamic. And to do that, we have to overcome this prejudice, this assumption that it was an African-American movement. Clostridium difficile infection, or CDI, has become harder to cure. Most commonly acquired by patients being treated with antibiotics, CDI can be fatal in its most serious form. Researchers at the David Geffen School of Medicine and their colleagues have discovered that stimulating cells in the gut can neutralize the toxins which cause the disease, possibly eliminating the practice of treating a disease caused by antibiotics with another antibiotic. For more on these and other stories, please visit newsroom.ucla.edu and follow us on Twitter at UCLA Broadcast.